300 million people's the population. One sixth are on food stamps. That's almost 17 percent, right? Does that sound normal to you? Does that sound like it jives? To me, it should be maybe like two percent should be on food stamps, maybe maybe five pushing it tops. I know people have hard times. We all have. I know I have in my life. We all needed help and to get back on the bootstraps and get going. I'm compassionate that way. But 50 million people, really? One-sixth of your population? We're so out of whack, it's not even funny. And well, I'm telling you. Well, the, part, the statistic I will always be horrified by is, and, and I'd, I'd have to look up the exact number, but I'm going to guess, 75 or 80% of all births now are, out of are, are, are unmarried women. Yeah. And guess how is what? that? How can any society survive that? They can't. They can't. It can't. Look at history. Look at every society that went down that path, like you said, ancient Israel, the Romans. All of them. They all collapsed. That's where we're headed. I just told you, and no politicians addressing it. I don't know why. Every problem we essentially have, virtually every problem, if not all, traces back to the family. The family is crumbling. How the is a politician is going to address that issue? He has to address it. What he I'm has to bring it up point blank and but say, But that's Look, not a federal government issue. So you're talking state government, local government? Yeah, yeah, it's, it, yeah exactly. But, but, but it, my point is there's no leadership at all. Well, you the, could the argue families, that the increased size of the federal government has led to this. It's a very good point. Uh, what do I need daddy for around if the government's going to give me food stamps and put a roof over my head? I don't need him. And that's why people, when they say we need all these fe laws with the federal government, hey, people, it comes down to laziness. Because now it means you would actually have to take part in your local government. Yeah. To ha if, yeah. You wanted, if you wanted a say on certain issues, you'd actually have to go to your town hall You'd actually have to get involved, okay? But instead, you have to get off your fat. <clears throat> Plain and simple, we have an entitlement nation now. The family, all our problems, virtually, if not all of them, uh, most of them, if not all of them, tie back to the family. It's real simple. Human history, the fabric of any society, the basic building block. I'm sure you'll agree. The basic building block of in 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 fabric of any foundation is the family, okay? Once you destroy and disintegrate the family... Well, how many families do you think have dinner together now? How many families do you think actually... One out of ten, maybe. Maybe one yeah. out of ten. Right. But and how, you many, and how, many people, up, how many people do you think actually get involved in their local ten. governments? Nobody. Or, Nobody. or volunteer in their local community? Nobody, nobody does that anymore. They used to be commonplace. Some people do. It all right? ties into family, all these actions. 100%. The church, all of it. Because, because family, family is was, your local it, community. You're 1,000% you're right. If the family was intact, then you'd have a paternal figure in the house. The paternal figure is responsible for keeping the family together, not only discipline-wise, but teaching principles. And oh, by the way, biblical principles, okay? Okay. Um, that, that, that's the role of the father, okay? Well, guess what? Right, most men today aren't capable of doing that because guess what? They weren't taught that because guess what? They didn't have a father around. We're on like a third generation now. And it's perpetuating, okay? Yeah, here's something interesting that I heard. You know how a lot of people wear jewelry, guys like wear chains and necklaces yeah. and earrings? Yeah. You know what this guy was saying? The reason that those kids do that Kids, they're not even kids, they're men. They're grown people, too. The reason people do that is because they grew up without a man in the house, and they saw women, and they associate the jewelry. Isn't that interesting? True. Yeah, I think there's truth to that. I don't wear one shred of jewelry. Of course, I had a man in the house. So, um, exactly, yeah. Yeah, 100%. I think I think he hit that nail on the head, just like the guy who said people who use Facebook are narcissistic. You know, it's like it's like talk it's like talking into a mirror. Hey, aren't I great? That's a good point. I don't even have, have a Facebook for a billion reasons. I just made a microwave pop up pizza. I just blew my nose. It's like really? 
Really? Well, I think I think the beauty of social media is, and I think that's why the government is going to be trying to shut it down, is that it is the only, because our press can't be relied upon, I think it's the only way that people will be able to get the real truth about something. Yeah, exchanging ideas, yeah.